it's me, Layla Sinclair. I know you may not recognize me, but please trust me, it's me. I just look a little different. You know, y'all may not have seen me like this, but this is closer to the real me. And <laughs> we are here for yet another fragrance review. And yes, we are back with the Swiss Arabian. I know it's been a little while. I've been doing a little other couple of fragrances. Um, but we are back with Swiss Arabian, you know, what they say about your first love. We're back. And today, my computer is already trying to restart again. Let's not do that. Cute. Um, stop. No. Sorry. All right. And we are doing another Swiss Arabian fragrance review. And today, we are doing a review on a fragrance called Kashka. I really hope I said that right. But here is the box. This is actually a concentrated perfume oil. Um, and I think this is only my, oh, actually, no. The fifth one from their line. My fifth, no, actually my sixth one, but my fifth one that I've done a review on from Swiss Arabian. My sixth concentrated perfume oil, Kashka. Here's the box. And let's open it. I've worn this all week. My box came a little bit beat up, but I'm gonna let it go because it's about the juice that's inside, right? Right. Um, and I thought that this this um what it came in was so beautiful. This is what this um so what made me buy this fragrance is I wanted another fragrance. And I was looking to see which one from Swiss Arabian I could buy. And I literally saw, I read several reviews, but I only watched one review on this. And the guy, um, he was Middle Eastern. Um, and he spoke so highly of this fragrance. And he told me what this, this, um, what the packaging signified, but I don't necessarily remember. It was some like prayer thing or some, holy shrine type of thing is what this symbolized uh, but here's the packaging isn't that nice who does this that was so nice that is gorgeous and there's the um the name of it on the bottom kashka <sighs> i love it that's so pretty so unique like they don't do that here anyway so here you open the packaging like this look at it look at that Look at that. I don't know what that says. I'm assuming it says Kashka as well. <laughs> but anyways, uh, there's the top. Uh, oh, there's a little, and just look at the top. Look in there. That's nice. And then it comes like this, and you take this little thing out. I say you take it out, come out, okay. All right, there's the bottom again. I, this is why I love Swiss Arabian. Their packaging is always so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. And um, so I've worn this all week, like I said. Let's go ahead and smell it. I remember my first impression. I was like, mm, that's different. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Mm, it is very different. Now, this is a unisex fragrance. It comes like the other fragrance oils from Swiss Arabian with the glass little um, applicator tube, I guess. You just untwist. This is 20 milliliters. It was... I got mine from Amazon. It was um, about close to 50, it was about 46, $47 um, for 20 milliliters. And I remember smelling it and I remember thinking, at first I was like, because it's so different. I feel like every other Swiss Arabian fragrance that I've bought, I, I like majority of them, but I feel like they could all pass for like some European fragrance. This definitely could never, it could never. I like it, let me say that first off. I do like it. This is very oriental, I see that. So if you are not looking for something like that, if you are not willing to step outside of the box like that, don't do it. But if you are, you want something different, something that it's oriental, like I said, and very different from what you're used to. But something that's still like nice um, and inviting, this is definitely one. And it definitely could pass for unisex. I feel like a lot of fragrances that say that they're unisex could never, like I would not want to smell a man smelling like that or I would not want to be a woman smelling like that. 
but this I feel like could definitely be unisex. So let's go to, before I give my full opinion, let's go to the notes here. The notes for Kashka by Swiss Arabian. Uh, top notes are cinnamon, bergamot, and apple. Middle notes are agarwood, which is the oud, which is definitely pungent in this fragrance. So if you're scared of oud, leave it alone. Uh, middle notes are agarwood, which is the oud, and I always say this wrong. Cardamom, and then the base notes are more cardamom, <laughs> amber, and musk. What I definitely get are the oud. Definitely get the oud. A little bit of the amber. I don't really feel, I don't smell cinnamon. Something citrusy, so I guess it's the bergamot. And then I do get the musk once I kind of wear for a little bit and it dies down. I feel like that's kind of what's left over. Now by itself, I am a little bit hesitant to wear this by itself because I'm just so not used to ouds. This is literally what my second oud fragrance. So I'm still a little bit trying to get used to it, you know. But I do like this. I've worn this all week. I feel like, hmm, this is very different for me. And I've found myself pairing it with things that are really sweet. So there's this other Swiss Arabian um, oil that I keep pairing it with. I don't even remember the name of it and I'm pretty sure it's discontinued now so it doesn't really even matter. But um, I got it a while ago and it's very sweet. So what I've found myself doing with this um, oil is pairing it with something sweet to kind of set off the fragrance or help me adjust to it more. Because I do like it, but I just feel like it's very uh, different from what I'm used to. I'll say that. But I do like it. Um, definitely, so right now is hot outside. And I wouldn't recommend wearing this by itself because it's just very like pungent. Um, but if you know me, you know I really like pungent scents. Um, but so maybe like fall, winter would probably be best <laughs> right now in summer. And that's another reason I'm pairing it with something sweet. Um, and I feel like it kind of balances it out. I haven't got, I've gotten a couple of compliments from it. Um, I haven't gotten any like weird like looks or anything. <laughs> where it looks or anything um so i'm hoping it's not offending anyone with how strong it is but i really and i was trying to do like more summer scents but i really just like like really strong stuff so um i end up going for stuff like this majority of the time and then trying to set it off with something sweet if you have tried kashka before let me know what you think about it in the description box. If you have any questions about it, let me know if you like this review or if you have anything to say or any questions, uh, please let me know down below. I keep saying description box, but I mean comment section below. But anyways, this is Layla Sinclair. I really appreciate you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, let me know. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay.